minutes going down after 8 o'clock on a beautiful Friday in the city. It's Friday the 9th day of July 2021. Dominica, good morning. This is The Hang. For Friday the 9th day of July. I'm going to be taking you through the paces and traces of a Friday morning. And the hang, of course. Captain in Ch- Chief Daryl Tit isn't around. Second in command and flight engineer is in the house. Let me say good morning to you wherever you are. Just hope you're in one piece and feeling good this morning. Let me say good morning to Hazel Mayors out there at Eggleston. Stephanie James, good morning to you. Good morning to my very good and dear friend, Flo Sebastian. Let's hope that you're in one piece this morning, my dear. Let's hope you're feeling fine. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. If it's your anniversary, happy anniversary. Suffered the death of a loved one, let me say, accept my deepest condolences. God is never beyond our reach, rem- reminds us, or Helen Stein or Rice reminds us of that. He will never give you more than you can bear. Dominica, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it and be productive. Good morning to the Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Scary to your, your wife and your children. Good morning to the entire Labour Party crew, Labour Party ministers, parliamentarians, senators, whatever. Those of you in the north or south, the east or west, good morning. Let me say good morning to Mr. Ian Monroe out there at Bellevue. Good morning to Austell Ann Solomon, Flossie Joseph. I'm a laugh or haven't heard from you in a long while. Simeon Albert, good morning to you. Morning to all the stalwarts of labor, all the labor rights. Good morning to you, those of you here and abroad. Good, good morning to you. Let me say good morning to the brain. Flight engineer is in the house. Good morning to you, brain. Good morning, Joe Thomas. Thank God it's Friday. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Proverbs 35. Let me just read that again. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not unto thy own understanding. Proverbs 35. Have a relaxing day. Today is going to be very relaxing. It's Friday. There's a lot of sporting activities taking place today. I know, for instance, the um, one day... Uh, 2020 against Australia begins this evening at 7.30 p.m. I know there's basketball, and I also know there is football around. So, thank God, sports is alive and well. Netball should be on the cards today as well. I had some very interesting news as well. Mm -hmm. I just looked at the back of today's chronicle. Mm -hmm. The ECCB profit records 25.2% million dollars mm-hmm. you hear this yes the eastern caribbean bank i heard Joe somebody cr- yeah, i heard somebody criticizing um the news that um, the east caribbean central bank had recorded 25 million dollars and saying that was a drop from um you know last year or something of that nature i just happened to have heard that well i didn't hear that all i saw was that the eastern caribbean bank but but you didn't read the article no i was only interested in the profits in the profits i I, once you make profits and you're not making losses i'm very happy well i heard i heard some critique um saying that that uh, that the, because of the amount or whatever it is, the, well, the it's bank, a pandemic. Eh? The, the bank was in trouble, but they didn't take into yeah. consideration there's a pandemic. Oh, there are other, you know, people 
sometimes can be critical and there, there's there's nothing wrong in being critical of something but you you have to be critical within reason joe thomas any profit during this type of pandemic we've had and the natural disasters that the caribbean has gone through we have to say thank god for the small things that happen to us every day we have to give thanks that's why I, I read Proverbs today. We have to say thank God because there are others who have it worse than us. Oh, yeah. You have to be very mindful of that. For every one of us that think we have it bad, right. there's somebody who has it worse. I, for instance, I was looking at the news coming out from Haiti. Six, um, there 60% of the Haitian pop, um, population is below the poverty line. You know? mm -hmm. We'll get back to that and lots more in the discussion. The Hang is brought to you with the very kind compliments of the following folks at Flow. Dominique, a busy bubble, of course, um, auto trade and fresh market. Let's touch base with the people who pay our bills. We'll be right back. Calling all Flow prepaid customers. Flow's new value-loaded, always-on prepaid plan means great news for you. Get unlimited talk, up to 50% more data, and more international minutes to keep you always connected. Try our 7-day always-on plan today and get 8 gigabytes of data and 500 local and international minutes for only $30. Dial star 129 pound now to activate a plan or visit discoverflow.co for more information. Terms and conditions apply. Daddy, daddy, you dirty your clothes again. And mommy not there to help you though. Wait, let, 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 bam, bam. Daddy, dirty his clothes. Easy breezy, busy bubble laundry service on the hustle. Washing, drying, folding service. Washing comfort because it's worth it. Heat his own, crimson toys. Come, Come on, daddy, bring, daddy, bring the bag. Dirty things from wine and malt. Come on, man, it's not your fault. Busy Bob. Visit our new location on the Castle Comfort Highway next to the Cicero Hotel. Busy Bubble Laundry, taking the busy out of your day. You can win when you tap it up, switch it up, sign it up, bundle up, bundle up. Easy wins with love, oh, oh. Easy wins, blow up. Catch the easy summer vibes with over $70,000 in cash and prizes. Just top up $15 or more. Activate a prepaid plan, switch to flow, sign up, or bundle your home services to get your share of $70,000 in cash. Or data, Samsung Galaxy devices, shopping vouchers, and more. You can win when you top it up, switch it up, sign it up, bundle up. Easy wins with flow. Flow up. No terms and conditions apply. We are launching the new 2022 Nissan Frontier. Join us at AutoTrade this Friday, the 9th of July at 10 a.m. Come test drive this vehicle and learn about different financing options. Remember, at AutoTrade, it's more than a vehicle, it's a relationship. going down after 8 o'clock. Right normally on a Friday, we have, we ease up a little bit. Um, sometimes, you know, we do a little bit of introspection, reflection. But um, we're going to continue from where we left off yesterday. And that is to look at uh, recent developments in Dominica, more so the treating case, which was discontinued in the courts by the DPP and, uh, and and for some people, as if to suggest that the DPP had no right, the DPP was in had no right to discontinue the case. Um, as if to suggest that the DPP was in collision with people to dismiss the case under the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Dominica, um, the DPP has every right to discontinue any matter that he or she feels that is worth discontinuing if you um, for whatever reason the DPP wants to uh, discontinue a matter the DPP can discontinue a matter albeit that the DPP does so in um, 
Well, it's a collaboration. Is collaboration the right word? The DPP would do so in conjunction with the Attorney General, um, would inform the Attorney General. And I heard it being said the DPP sent a letter a day before and other people knew. That is why they didn't come to the court. They were not in the court and whatever it is and so on. All sorts of foolishness going around. Mm -hmm. But the fact is the DPP has the right to take over to discontinue any matter that he or she feels that needs being discontinued brain. That's right. It's not the first time that has happened. Never, and it certainly will not be the last. Why the matter has been discussed, so the matter is uh, in the court, is no longer in the court, it's out of the court's domain now, it's in the public domain. And the fact is that the DBP had asked for disclosure, there had to be some disclosure made, and based on the disclosure, we learned of the persons who were going to appear as witness for, for the f for, for the complainant. For the complainant, and these witnesses, when they were scrutinized carefully, uh, you notice that they were operatives of the United Workers Party. We know of a very famous individual who always calls the talk show asking for boots on the ground. He wants to overthrow the government, and that one is a man called Tyron, who we better known as Blessings from St. Joseph. We hear him all the time on Q95, putting forward his foolishness on a daily basis. But you know, being entertained by Martha Spelty, mm -hmm. you know, and we hear all those persons who call in Q95. We have, uh, we hear another guy. I do not understand what has gone wrong with his brain. Nicholas George, a man who held a position of superintendent responsible for um, for um, security, state security, you know. That's where the man was, you know. The man was in a very sensitive position, state security. And you hear the man talking so much foolishness, going there, trying to tell people, that a gospel concert influenced him to vote against his own self? Can you imagine the depth of the man's stupidity? A man who I ho held in high esteem because of a grudge? You've reached the age of 60 years. One of the, uh, Mr. Egbert Charles is, has attained the age of 60 years. He's been asked to leave. You're older than 60. So how can you be asking a man to live at 60 years and you're hiring one at 62 now. How does that thing? And because of that, you belly ache. You heard the Minister of National Security discuss that matter. The man is his friend. Nicholas is his friend. He served with him in the SSU. But he cannot allow the state to be brought into disrepute in terms of a lawsuit. Egbert Charles could probably have sued government. I'm going at 60 and you're bringing a man at 62. What is going on here? We have an early call. There's a caller on the overseas line. Caller, uh, good, morning. good morning. Caller, good morning. Yes, good morning. Could you speak up for me a little bit, please? Good morning. Yes, yes, that's better. Yes, that's better. I tried to call yesterday, but I couldn't get you. All right, no problem. I have thought, um, it has gone by. You know when you get married, the wife of your youth, you and your wife of your youth work hard to get what you get. And then when you reach a certain position in life, you start to treat whether it's your wife or whether it's your husband wrong very, very bad. You know, the tears of whichever spouse, when it falls, just fall hard on you. And whether the person pass or not, you will pay. You will pay anyhow, any form, you will pay. God respects marriage. And you are supposed to deal with each other better. You, when you do not have, you do not have, you work together, you reach a certain level. When you reach a certain level, you start to treat each other badly. God will deal with whoever it is. No joke with God. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much. <laughs> have a blessed day yourself. It's 8.22 in the morning time. Y yes, Joe Thomas. Me that 
you have a gripe, you've worked so hard in your life, you've attained the highest position, superintendent, responsible for national security. But uh, and this business of national security, I have to touch on that, you know. This business, in light of what I saw happen in Haiti, we just like to brush things under the carpet. We, mustn't but we must not take those things for granted. We saw men flying drone over the Prime Minister's home. Myself that, taking those things very seriously. Let Bab Kamawa do pretty fair. Who's a sound? Because right. there are some men on the island and women on the island who wants to take power by any means necessary. We're hearing them all the time talking about boots on the ground. I want to touch about that a little bit later in the, our proceedings because this is a warning for us to keep our eyes very open and very vigilant. On the local line. Good morning, Juti. Good morning, Bryn. Good morning, Good morning. Sir. How are you? Oh, morning, tremendous. Not too bad at all, sir. <laughs> yep, I see all the bad in open bad. <laughs> very early, very early. Very early, man. We're taking the first. We're not like Western this. We know it's going around soon this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good topic thus far. I honestly feel vindicated by the decision of the DPP to discontinue this case. Mm -hmm. From the initial time, I always thought that case was was just frivolous, vexatious, and really not intended to achieve any result but caller that was no case there was a no case from the beginning it was, it was no case from the start but at some point in time you or if you okay you 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 on a thing you brought bring something up in court at some point in time you must realize that it's not going anywhere mm -hmm. and you persist with it it reached that stage where the dvp took a, a very rational and objective decision and you still say that you want to review what check your lawyers. You know, it's, it's, it's just, to me, that was just a total waste of time and energy. And the thing is, when these things happen maliciously, is there any form of of compensation that can be attained for you? I mean, the time that has been wasted, the amount of money was lost, just just getting a, a, a nonsense. Case. How in anybody's mind, a government who won, by so many things, can tell me that because of a concert, that would cause somebody who was supposed to vote for you to vote for somebody else. I mean, but the, the irony and is who you know is who, <laughs> it's who. the cabinet yeah, is who the members of the executive <laughs> of the United of the United Workers <laughs> <United. laughs> Party so saying saying that the concert influenced <laughs> them to vote, vote for the Labour Party. <laughs> but candidates, you know, too. candidates too, you know. Are these guys for real? I mean, any. Rational thinking human being. What it shows then how politics can just cause learned people to just do silly and, and irrational things. That's what's happening. The whole political influence that just cause you to do things without 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 um without thinking. So at the concert there were people from both sides. They were party supporters, you know, so, so 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 what are they saying that? All the police officers who were at the concert. <laughs> that could be caused them to vote again. But I have a theory, because if they had gone to the concert and they had been influenced by the gospel um, singers, then they would not have received 15,000 <laughs> votes. <laughs> <laughs> no? Honestly, I mean, at that level, we just, we just making ourselves just foolish. Fantasy. Foolish. It is their decision. They decide what they want to pursue. But the people of Dominica are wise enough and they and they have been making the right decisions based on their own analysis over and they will continue to do so. So I just call there, I feel vindicated. I always felt in the initial that that case was a no case. It was really just 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 malicious and just continue their, their strategy. So that's the reality. All the best. Thank, Thank you, you very much, caller. But you know, Brent, Brent yes. before you can, you know, there are people, we had what? The concert <laughs> involving Donnie McLuckin, mm -hmm. right? We had the concert involving Morgan Heritage. Who is Donnie McLuckin? Gospel artist? <laughs> Morgan Heritage, we know to be a the regular artist. artist yeah. International. Brent, there are people. UWPIs, labor rights, whatever it is. There are people who went to those concerts just because of the artist, 
Yes. They love their music. Ujo Banton, have, people went to heard, see him. They have heard their music, so they go out to, and it was a, a free, free concert. concert. Yeah. So they went, they didn't go, some people didn't come there because of Labour Party, you know. Some didn't come there because of work. Some came there because of the artist, the music, you know, the revel, the revel in their music, whatever it is, and so on and so forth. You know, but we have a caller. Wait, no, wait, but before you take the caller, we go, I go to listen to United Workers Party pol um, public meetings, you know, uh -huh. in Lago. Yes. I sit for the whole night, you know, listening to them. Uh -huh. And I mingle with their people, you know. Yes. I listen. Yes. When the Labour Party is having theirs, I go and listen, you know. Yeah. When the Freedom Party is having theirs, I go and listen, you know. I want to hear what they're talking about. This is the political culture. You go to listen to the different political parties, regardless you have your political side. Yeah. It's important to listen. So if you go and listen to them, you can then see they treated you then. Real nonsense. Let's go to the local line. Mm. Caller, good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Good, good morning. morning. And how are you? Not too bad. Praise the Lord for another day. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, there's a little quote in there. Why do the head and rage and the people imagine a vain thing? You know, because from day one, these people, they knew well, they were not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, these people acting like children that play in marble hole. You know, get something positive. If you, have, if you can't think of anything positive, ask somebody to help you. <laughs> but people have nothing to do, you know. You're not in a job or whatever it is, and then no, you just they want to just create a problem, 18 seats, you know, and then you, you just want to play play what? What to play basketball or, or or whatever? These people should think better than that. And big men, you know, they're tired of losing. What happens? Should they put them to lose? Not leave, leave, you know, stop those nonsense there. This time we have no time to that. That's wasting time. That's wasting people's time. They should be paying us. Are wasting our time they should be paying anyway have a blessed day god bless my prime minister be strong thank you very much you know when you look at the work of the united workers party from 20 from 2000 or let's say 2005 well, let's go to back. Let's go historically. No, no, I, I'm, I'm not going there, and I'll tell you I'm, why. And I'll go there, but, but tell me your yeah. position. Bec w you ask yourself the question, what is it that the United Workers, what positive has the United Workers Party embarked upon for the period 2000 to 2021? Well... You know, I, I, I just well, don't let, let me tell you that. Before you make your comment, there's a caller yeah, on the but, yeah, I would like local to make line. My comment. There's a caller on the local line. Call on the local line. Good morning. Good morning, Jyoti. Good morning, the brain. Good, Good morning. And the brain, you 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 you're making the point. So so you know so um and that is that that, that requires further further um uh, and deeper review. I uh, recall earlier this year the drone incident. Over the prime ministers, in and around the prime ministers. Officers. Yes, that was very serious. Very serious. Recall the the, the and the person who was who was accused or he's who is accused of of flying the drone. Yes, you, you so don't the right? operatives. He he is credited to be among the the best drone pilot in Dominica, mm -hmm. and his name is 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 among those 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 they say that was um, aggrieved. Or, or, yes, or yes, yes. You know? His name is there. His, de his name is there. Thank you. Yeah, right. You know. So you know. So I mean, you and, and you made the comparison. You know, and you, and you you, you 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 did spread the word of caution in terms of what happened in Haiti or, or, um, this week there. Yes. And this and this drone thing over the prime minister's official residence. That's right. And who it was responsible for flying the drone in and around the prime minister's official residence. Yes. Hey, why? When we see those things happening. You know, and who came out in their support? Who came out to support them at midnight that night? Stayed out out at police headquarters. Lennox Linton. Lennox Linton. Calling somebody to come out, come out and support support the, our, our June pilot. Mm, Lennox Linton. So we have to say the truth. It has to be um, and be labored because people have to open their eyes. People have to understand that when those sellers go around saying, "Scared has to go before this deal ended by any means necessary." 
and we see those things happening around us we have to be concerned mm -hmm. and not only yeah. that caller they are in they, they are in also linking with other forces in the united states all right yeah we have okay. the gabriel christians and them we have Precisely. the dill dangle bands okay and i you know and, and if you look at, at the at, at based on the report out of out of haiti the people involved in that in that assassination attempt you know they, they, they were foreigners most most of foreigners okay yes so, you, you know so we have you know we ha we can't just run over those things there you know we have to identify them discuss them and put things in place the prime minister and his and the security detail you know they cannot take anything for granted it, it, you know? uh, my, my 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 suggestion is even for the prime minister to beef up his security you know you know exactly, you cannot take your you security know? for granted because you're seeing what's happening right in the caribbean and so let up come out of pretty who's this out i'm taking no chances and they're and they're signs here they say that the spirit has to go this year by any means necessary what does that mean what does that mean yes yeah yeah what does and that mean this year 2021 okay so for that, I'm listening. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Joe Thomas. Thank you, caller. I am I'm one of those people that say, wait, don't talk about those things. Don't talk about those things. Don't you, you're not telling us that all the time. Uh, and when we're seeing things happening around us, right within the Caribbean region, we must pay attention to them. They have lessons for us. These are historical events. And we cannot just brush them aside. Because if they can happen in one jurisdiction in the Caribbean, what prevents it from happening in another one? Uh? There's one. Court and there's some people there's some people who are putting some of those things on Facebook, you know. Right. And Jason, I'm telling Jason, Jason, Jason Fontaine, Fontaine been putting it out on Facebook. You know what I mean? And I I'm hope the leaders of these Caribbean countries read it. Take note of what happened in Haiti. A a uh, uh, post by Jason Fountain. You know, let us go to the local line, then we'll go to the overseas line. On the local line, good morning. Good morning. Yes, good, good morning. morning. I'm calling from St. Martin. This is my first time yes. calling. You all remember recently there was three days of prayer and fasting in Dominica. Yes, yes. And with all this, I believe people prayed for Dominica and they prayed honestly and God answered the prayers of the people. It is not no accident. God answered the prayer of the people and there is more prayers to be answered and there is more things to be to be um, to come in public. God is going to deal with these gentlemen. This is my belief. God is going to deal with these men. And while I'm there, let me say good morning to my family in St. Joseph, especially my mom. She is a constant listener to you all program. Her radio never moves and nobody can touch this um, dial. So good morning to mom in St. Joseph. Her name is Cynthia Cavon. And gentlemen, you all are doing a great job. I love this program. And especially the grammar on this program fluently english i love it and i'm enjoying it have a blessed day you all and enjoy the weekend thank okay. you very much thank you very much back to the uh line there to the overseas line good morning good morning joseph thomas good, good morning. morning how are you good morning my brother out there i'm good i'm good i'm good how is the at this moment oh good beautiful nice weather here all right okay I logged in late and I was praying that you all would bring up that topic on your program this morning. You know, it, it's happening. It's, it's, um, and as you just said, right now, the, the country, the authorities, the, 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 the security personnel in Dominica has to start, um, 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 how, how I call it, doing a very um, um, rigid investigations as to visitors coming into Dominica. Because, you know, what has happened in, in, in Haiti, I always thought that, you know, from the time I heard it, I said, it's not Haitians doing that kind of thing. You know, they may use some of them, but, you know, they have to be a foreign agent in that, in that, in that, in that assassination, um, um, not attempt, assassination incident, you know. And so said, so done, you know, and, and, and we have, you know, 
the, the security men of the Prime Minister of Haiti, the security men, what has happened to them? Were they, were they bribed into, 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 into this sort of action? They have to be investigated also. I have, never, I have not heard anything about the security personnel for the Prime Minister of, of Haiti. No matter where it is, at his home, office, or wherever it is, his place is supposed to be heavily um, 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 guarded and, uh, and secured. And how these people could come in, and you have never heard whether any of the, the Prime Minister's security men were, 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 were either um, um, moved or, or, or whether they were also shot or whatever it is. You know, and, and we in Dominica have to be very careful with our own prime minister because the kind of utterances that are being uttered on the radio and in, and in, in media, okay, we have to be very careful at home. And, if, and if, not even at home, even when the prime minister travels, security personnel of the state where he goes to has to be very, very, um, um, how do you call it? In, in, in sensitive. Thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm happy that your body is still up and, and our, 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 we, have, we must not let our guards in that kind of activity. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. Thank you very right. much. There's a caller on the overseas line. Uh, caller, you can call us back. Yes, Brain. Yeah, so so we're dealing with two situations simultaneously. Three, but yeah, the two, one two. the one with um, the the court business, I'll just go back to that. Yes. That we have to understand that the director of public prosecution under the constitution has the power to discontinue any matter. But Bryn, really and truly, you have a political campaign. This caller on the overseas line is trying to well, let's take it, let's take for it. the let's longest take while. Let's go to the overseas line. Caller, good morning. Yes, Guada, what's happening? Guada, bonjour. I think that will happen in Haiti. I don't think I'm going to pass a joke. Because if such a Dominican they are well, that is a joke. It's not a joke. Which I go, I mean, because the reason why, it has told them that they didn't go to Kalim, they didn't go to do this, they didn't go to do that. Because I think the population of Haiti, they put this, some of them put them together to, 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 to get some of them. Where yeah, they will hide, hide in the bush, they get some of them. So when workers they, they agree well, they, they always talk, they talk about what happened in Haiti. But tell them what happened in Haiti, not a joke, because I don't feel they're going to pay them, because they hold some of them. Okay? And uh, last night, when I listened to that guy also, that is the uh, police, uh, we play dogs. Mm. But, and uh, they're calling for money already. They, they need money. Because they said they had to fight the cause, they need money. So who can, can start to put money? It's a money business, you tell what I mean? Who can start to put money to put money on their account for them to do what they have to do? Mm -hmm. You tell what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know what they're going to do again. They have more things to say. They have more things to do. Money is behind, they're behind money. Yes. So, so, so we don't fail for our PM. We don't fail, we don't fail for our PM. Because nothing can happen to our PM. What I mean, it's going to happen. Uh, all right. But Joe Thomas, this is left us. Let's go, let's uh, go to okay. the local line. Yes, go. Caller on the local line. Those callers are coming fast, fast and, and furious. My right. God, it's hot in here already. On, on, on the local line, good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good How morning. Guys? Not too bad at Not all. Not bad at all. Okay. I'm calling from La Plaine. Yes. I just want to tell the... I mean, I cannot tell the, the police chief what to do. Mm -hmm. But I'm calling on to make a, a point about um, the Prime Minister's security. Uh -huh. I would like Mr. Corbett to really look at the Prime Minister's security mm. very closely because it have a lot of UWP in that police force. I just hear some of them. So then therefore, he must examine these people very closely because you know if anything happened to our prime minister what will happen in the okay? mm. so they better be careful be careful yes. and try to protect our prime minister as much as possible thank you very thank much you to very the much. overseas line good morning good morning thank you, man. Yes, good morning, good morning. <laughs> um all i have to say is that all freedom of 
That, that's right. That's right. That's right. Making a very, good very point. significant Your point. Sure. Freedom of spe speech is not has all freedom of speech. But you you have to be responsible but with your you utterances. But no? how can you be posting those things? How can you be posting those things? What do you mean what do by you intend to achieve by doing that? Yeah, what is your intention? Public mischief. You should be questioned. You should be brought in and questioned to find out what is that motive. Of you. You're putting these things out on Facebook. Those type of things that P I see people putting out. This is this, 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 a new legislation has to be passed in the country to ensure that this type of activity does not occur in in, in social media. This is oh. dangerous, very dangerous. L let's go to the local line, then we will go to the overseas line. You're on the overseas line. Hold on for us, please. Call on the local line. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. You know, in Dominica, we are very slack. And unless something happens, then you'll hear this and that and whatever. Oh, we have done that or whatever. We like to wait until last minute. No, I don't believe in that. Nip you know, it in the bud. I, right, and that is not good. You see, a uh, prime minister that is working so hard, that is that man sleeping well in his bed, working hard, whenever in their bed, sleeping, smoking their marijuana, drinking their rum, that man, they're thinking, he's thinking about Dominica. What next for us? And I want to kill him for what? Yes. For what? For yes. hatred? Hate? We have a lot of hate in this country, jealousy, envy. How he going to spend his money? How he, the man is working hard for his money. So what is the problem? Thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. And the to the overseas line caller, good morning. Yes, Jyoti and Brent, good morning to all you and good morning to me, Vernicola, good morning to the world. A fireman touching basic is like a two cents. Now, Mr. Jyoti and Mr. Brent, right? You remember the last campaign in Roseau Central when the Queen of Roseau Central had the little Taurus Riley, I think, by the riverside? Yeah. Yes, we remember. Honorable. You, you remember that, right? It had over 400, I tell you, you know, it had over 400 workers, people from Goodwill, was in the action. They vote for the Labour Party. You there, the fireman? We follow you, fireman. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, no. Yeah, that again, no. Yeah, that again. Right? Let me tell you something, right? Anytime you start forming a political party and have to bring somebody caught for saying that you bring an artist or you bring a pastor or you bring a teacher. My Lord, I can remember a long time ago, Mr. Honorable Rosie Douglas, my hero of River Nica, when he used to have the committee, he used to bring people from Antigua, all different type of people. We want to listen to the people and there. My Lord, I'm an original labor right. If workers have Kalanji bringing Kalanji, ain't them in Rosu. Anyway, they have an idea, I go into the show. In every minute, whosoever, that cannot make me change and go nowhere. I just see all you prepare something for the people, by the people. So I follow all your actions. So I find that making no sense. I listened to Top Up last night here and Sprague the name on the program. And I tell you personally, think of it for yourself, your Jyoti and Brain. How much education program do have in River? How much time you never, ever hear that Top Up? Go and tell the world boss you want four scholarship for the people of Marigold. No time at all, right? You're right, you're right. Tell me your Sprague, John. Go and tell Top Up. Go and tell World Boss he wants five scholarships for South B people. No time at all. Don't talk about Danny Logan because Danny Logan nothing, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Now forget it real. Everything to destroy the island and to destroy the people, that is what they want. They man said they're going to have a revolution and you from now to what time you know, they're giving up, you know. You know, I check in, but that is disrespectful. Our place like suffer in all different ways and form. You know, too long with your suffer in all different ways and form, my lord. How we can eat us, nobody ever, them and never do nothing. COVID players come, instead they try to talk to the people and support the five, seven people they have. They're telling them, well, just do foolishness and you're going to get more COVID virus. We don't get no death. We up and running. World boss, we think they think crisp and crank. It's soft and it's brisk. It's mighty and it's tall. Them man cannot stop what's happening. The problem they have, they do not love the country. They don't love the people, and they will never love the country. They will never love the people. Any gangster in the Caribbean, I say, you know, any rapist or whatsoever you be, you're supposed to send your letter, your post, or your picture around the Caribbean. If it's a murderer, whosoever will be a killer. So when you visit in, they know who you are and what you're defending. We can't, you have to get the light serious, you know, there's no joker going on there, you know. That's a serious case, but when you see you go, you can't come back. That's why I always say, 
I love and respect people and give them the flowers Why is their life. Because when you go, you can never come back. And whole boss, if I roll out, whole boss, remember, you have to call SOS, Mr. Billy the Jack Hamlet, because the people want to hear your voice. You know what I'm saying? The people want to hear, people tell me when I call the program, say to whole boss, you have to call SOS, Mr. Billy the Jack Hamlet, right? In St. Martin, and the listener and the hear you call the whole boss. Mr. Moses, good morning to you, my big brother, what? Sister Stephanie, Mommy Meredith, the whole labor constituency, 21 constituency, the large and great labor family, my brother, Bibs in America. Who, imagine the viral out there. Bibs tell me bring a partner in a funeral up in America. Right now, the partner take all his job. Oh, pan running, fireman running. Bless up. Bless up, fireman. Have yourself a new strong day. Sorry, there's a call on the overseas line. Caller, you can call us back. Um, we've lost you, so you can call yeah, us yes. back. Yes, let's right. So it's very important, Joe, as I was talking about the DPP. When the DPP takes an action, these fellas have a very dangerous attitude of behaving. They want to intimidate the courts. They want to frighten the courts. That's I wouldn't very, want to see. I wouldn't want that's to very see, dangerous. I wouldn't want they, to they, see Dominic they, no, they frighten, under United. No, the but they frighten the um, Bernie Stevenson, the, the George. It's not, it's, not, it's not the Honorable Bernie Stevenson alone that they frighten. Because their action is quite, is based on fair. Judges who are afraid to come to they Dominic. They're trying to create here. a level of fair in the country that is very dangerous and should not be allowed. This is very dangerous. People are free to walk the streets of Roseau, to free to express their political ideas without fear or favor or ill will. That's the democracy. It's not a democracy all, of fair. And all they've been preaching is violence for the violence. past for the past twenty, 20 one years. Year. Not twenty years. Twenty but, years. No, but since they formed themselves uh, when they came into power in nineteen ninety five. Why you think they never lasted for more than one term? They're the only political party that has only lasted for one term. Freedom Party had 15 years. Before that, the Labour Party had 15 and 20. more. And now the Labour Party is 20. It must be something that the Labour Party has been doing. That's why they have extended this thing in power. Let's go to the overseas line. Caller, good morning. Caller on the overseas line, good morning. All right. Yes, good, morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes, We're sir. Yes, live sir. and direct. You Go. Guys having some you got some difficulty with the horses blind this morning. Um. Thank you for raising that 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 point, the discussion this morning, because that was one of my concerns when I when I got news uh, of what happened in Haiti. I, I know in years gone by, you know, we've had a piece of that already. We've we've had an attempted something like that already, but not as successful as it has been in Haiti. And I think um, with all these, you know, disturbances or this call for boots on the ground and all this constant, you know, objection by the opposition parties, this is something that's not too far reaching for somebody, some group, some financier group or somebody on the outside to decide that they're going to try something for that. Mr. P Prime Minister, I know that you, you're a humble guy and, you know, you have that lovely, wonderful smile and you're a people person, you know, please do not drop your card. I think it's time that we should review the security personnel and also the, the, the in fact, all our law enforcement, we should have a task force now, we should create a task force now to check, you know, the commitment of all law enforcement people and see how rigid and how solid that they are that their commitment is to law enforcement you know to protect people protect politicians you know no 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 political what what's the word uh, no partisan um attitude should 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 should, should be a dominant factor with our law uh, with our law 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 enforcement I remember during the last election time with all these Facebook um, viewings and clippings and, you know, the viral um, postings of, of, of social media. There were a group of ex-policemen in North America claiming that they could come down to assist the opposition parties in the help. Mm -hmm. So these things, we don't have to take these things lightly. 
you can you see what happened in America. You see the rise of the militia in America since January 6th. Not that it wasn't there. It's always been there. But it just takes one element, one crack leadership or leader to instigate that type of, 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 of militancy. And, and, and I think we should develop our guard. And I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm really happy that you guys are discussing that this morning. I, I wish everybody, you know, other people who, who have concerns about the security in Dominica and especially the security around our prime minister should call in, voice their opinion. And, and for once and for all, man, let's start camping down on that other, that, that radical thing on the other side that have U.S. trained militant people, mm -hmm. instigators, mm -hmm. instigators. That's what, they, that's their job. That's all they do. Instigating anything that the, the government do. So they're creating an atmosphere for insurrection. And they, in their own, have to, you, you, you constantly bombarding people with, 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 with negative thoughts. And anything that the government do, nobody gets a chance to, to examine what is the laws or the bills. But you have a bunch of, of loudspeakers that just come in and, and, and have a lot of influence on other people. And, and, and God forbid that we should have a situation like, like Haiti. Peace Thank back. you. Thank you. To the local line caller, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Okay, so now I understand and I can see why they have such a big problem with the Prime Minister renting a house for that price. Okay. I, I believe the price is to have a secure house enough for our Prime Minister. So they want him to rent a Jupard. They want him to live in a Jupard. That's what they want, so that they can come and take, take, take him down first. Well, I used to find that the Prime Minister have a lot of security and things. I mean, it's us and we wouldn't harm him and those kind of things. So um, I don't see why he should have that security. Well, I take back that point. I take it back right away, and now I am advising the Prime Minister to double, double up on security for me, please. Thank I will feel much better. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much, caller. Yes. It's 54 is it's hot. the morning it's got time. hot yes. in here, man. It's very hot. Well, yes. Because we have to pay attention to what's happening to us around the world. Mm -hmm. Because we have heard these other guys, the Gabriel Christian, the Dil Dangabens, mm -hmm. the Robinsons. Mm -hmm. We've been well, hearing you know, it's them. All in an effort. They've been calling yes, it's for destabilizing. Yes. No, it's all in it, an let's call effort it what for it them is. to get into they government. They are calling you know. for the destabilization General of the state yes. to have anarchy in their and country. And these people should be seriously questioned. And they have friends and supporters on the island so that is why we have to be Jason Fountain you see what they're posting you see their intention we were during the election you remember one of those elections we lost a guidance system for the airport yes you know it was and, blown and, and have we heard anything about have it have we heard uh, anything about it you know what could have happened if there are people parading in this country running up and down the place and preaching that level of um, ignorance, ignorance and, stupidity. and stupidity and they are being allowed to walk the streets, you know, um, just Talking like that. Talking nonsense Talking every foolishness, day. Right, gibberish in the people's ears all the time. Trying to pollute the country with words, boots on the ground. What does that mean? Talking about young people must get up and young people must do this and young people. Must do the that? young people of Dominica are properly secured under the Dominica Labour Party administration. Under... Uh, the, the right honorable Roosevelt's character. He but, is the one that is seen but, but, but you, to, to, to their welfare. But you hear a union leader yesterday coming on the radio, and yeah, I heard him on Q95 in the news, talking about people are trying to prevent the unions from functioning. How, but it's your irresponsibility, you that say all kinds of nonsense that there's going to be a cap on, on, on people's salary. You, you that, you that lying pushing, to uh, the people. lying to the people, le pushing a line for the for insurrection. Can. You're lying to the workers, uh, telling, saying that um, Mr. Skerritt trying to stop salary increase. Right. You're, he's not lying. You're lying, and you know that. Let's go to the local line. Call her. Good morning. Good morning, Joe Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Miss Adams. Good morning, Good morning, sir. Teach. I hope you all are doing well. Oh, very well. Yeah, we, we, yeah. we're doing I, okay. I've, I've been listening with interest, you know, to the comments and statements and so on over the past few days. And I've been listening to our people this morning calling the hang. 
and I'm hearing a cry for help to protect our Prime Minister. I mm-hmm. hope this cry for help doesn't fall on deaf ears. And the caller before the last, I think, mentioned something about if they wanted him to be in Ajupa. What they wanted, why they are querying and have so much concern about where he lives, is accessibility. They would like to know that they can get to him to do whatever they want. And trust me, their intentions are not honorable. So I am calling on the authorities, the Minister of Social Security, the Ministry of, sorry, National Security, you know, our security forces, to ensure that they are very, very careful. Because trust me, these people make no bones about how they feel and what they will do if they get the opportunity. They are angry. You know, they, 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 they have not recovered from, from LOPS. And they are seeing that their only chance to governance in this country is by some malicious activity. So they are spurring on people who will listen to them and take them, you know, the, take them as gospel. So we need to be careful about those utterances that we are hearing. And these are threats and the promises, and I, I think we should take them very seriously. So let's continue to, to pray. Let's continue to protect our country. Because some people say, oh, what happened in Haiti can easily happen here. We pray against that. But we still have to take measures to ensure mm-hmm. that we protect our prime minister and, and ministers of cabinet and other people in authority. I'm reading on Facebook that they have the acting DPP on blast. <laughs> what they have not said about the young ladies, what they, they forget, according to, to old people. Mm-hmm. You know? So we need to be very careful and do things or do what we are supposed to do to protect our country and its people. Have a thank, good day, Thank, thank, thank you, very, you much. very much. Caller to the overseas line. Caller on the overseas line. Good morning. Caller on the overseas... Oh, the caller has left us. Yes, caller on the overseas line. Uh, good morning. Hello? Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Joe, and good morning, Mr. Bray. Good morning, good morning sir. How, good are you? How are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. How are well, you? it's very good to know. Very good to know as well. Okay. Um, Mr. Bray and Mr. Joe T, I just want to... I want to share the sentiments of some of your callers before me. Yes. And um, some some of the things that I, 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 I've seen and put on Facebook and I've heard on the radio of 295 is very troubling, to say the least. Dominica is a democracy, right? And from my opinion, Dominica is a country, is one of the countries where people are allowed to do and say whatever they want, okay? Without, without ramification. But what I'm, I'm hearing is very troubling. And um, I, I especially want to point out things that I, I hear from people who are supposed to be leaders in this country, people who want to be leaders in this country. I'll give you an example. Last night, I listened to a program on 95 with um, Lennox Linton, Nicholas George, Hector John, and um, Ed, Ed in Consent Val. And Nicholas George, who is a former police officer, high-ranking police officer, is making a statement and saying he's comparing Dominica to Haiti, <laughs> and he's saying that he's saying that because of certain um, actions by by, by 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 some leaders, the result was the the um, his Haitian man getting assassinated, right? And and he and he's saying Dominica is at a boiling point, right? Which can which can easily get to that very same situation, which I think is extremely reckless and dangerous utterance. Very dangerous from utterance from a former superintendent of police. It's very okay. dangerous. Very dangerous because what he what, what he's in fact doing, he is condoning this action in Haiti. 
a most reprehensible crime against a head of state and his wife where gunmen went to his home and, sh and, 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 and killed him, right? That is never justifiable, my friend, right? And that has to be condemned heavily by everybody of good sense. But Nicholas Judge is saying, basically, that's what happens when people get fed up of, 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 of government, of government. Mm. Right, seeming to justify that terrorism. And but there but, but every le every leader of the democratic world has condemned that action, you know. Every leader, you know. I don't know what Nicholas is listening to. Every leader has condemned that kind of action, you know. And for Nicholas Judge to be talking such fully. Hello? Hello? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, yes. Exactly. And, 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 and interestingly, I have not heard the leader of the UWP make any statement in regard to that situation in Haiti. Right? Every responsible person should stand up and condemn such violence. That is never justifiable. That never solves any problem. Right? To go and murder somebody. And Linton has not condemned it. And Nicholas Judge is, is making that, that reference mm -hmm. and seeming to insinuate, right, that this may happen in Dominica. Can you imagine? You know? Can you imagine, man? It is very, very, very troubling. It's very troubling. You know? And I, I really think, you know, sometimes we, we, we take things for granted, we take things lightly, right? People used to say that these guys talk, 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 and nothing happened. But I can tell you, my friend, the hate on that side is real. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. The anger is real. It's real. Very real. Right? The, 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 the detestation for this prime minister and for the, this government is real. Real. Right? That is, that, that is a, 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 a daily expression on 25 every single day. Right, and people of this country who who respect the law, who want peace, who want to see the country um, um, prosper and proceed in, in, in civility, they should come out and they should condemn this, this kind of utterances because they are dangerous utterances, right? And we 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 we, we, we say just talk, 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 but we never know mm. the kind of anger the kind of animus that these people have within them the kind of desperation that they have of wanting to get in power or wanting to see spirit go you never know what they can do right and they, they, they themselves say by any means possible right that means that 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 that, that, that means a lot any means possible that yeah. you will you resort to any any tactic right so we should never take them for granted right and we should always lift our voice to condemn this kind of action and this kind of utterances and hold these guys accountable for the dangerous thing they say because what they do these things inside violence and they are known for doing that mm -hmm. okay yes right, All right my friend. Yeah. no no, no jo joe Thomas, thomas before you take the other call yeah. but you see history is a very great subject and every student should know it we've had a type of activity like that with the poor storming of the police station in our history we have we've had an attempted coup already we must the one man get one man get hanged was, was, was so we must not treat history as a joke we must take it very seriously let's go to the local line good morning Hello. call on the local line good morning good yes, morning yes sir good day mr brain what's up man what's up fine brain let me tell you something i can't talk to you like a man and listen to me well, you know. Brain, you know me. The last time I call and I make known, I make clear who I was. You was even surprised I call because you tell me straight, they don't got write a calypso for me again. But Brain, hmm, Brain, that's Trinity speaking. That's Trinity the calypso speaking. Brain, you see me? Everybody know me. I'm a very popular guy. Everybody know I'm gonna use the what word I stand for. So listen, 
No, brain, you see me, I don't have time for nonsense. I do, if somebody wrong, the wrong brain. And you see me, you see what that statement, that wasn't, that wasn't right. That, to be honest, if you ask me. Which statement are you talking about, Kola? The statement about trying to compare Haiti with Dominica. That is a very dangerous statement. That is not something that 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 should not come that is not something that should be said whether you use the opposition whether whatever you think you cannot say a thing like that it is wrong you check me i mean all of us have to be real you know i mean we have to put right where right be and wrong where wrong is even if we support in our party body but if your party wrong if you're if you're, 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 you're whoever you support in do something wrong Tell them what they do it is wrong and they need to stop it. You check and whoever that person that make that statement, that person that made that statement that did that, they need to take that back and try to correct. That was wrong. It is wrong. Now another thing again, Brit. Even if you do support in a man, you check me, or you oppose in a man, but when the man do something and the man do something good, at least say good. You check, say good for at least once. Your people will respect you. You check, because even if as much as they want to respect you, they see the same person, they, 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 they with you, they're supporting again. Like, the same people, they campaigning with you against there. They see that good in that person. But they see, you see that good, you know, but you don't want to say good. Eventually, the people and I'm going to, they're going to look at you like you wasn't that person. Because them people not stupid, you know. People know what is right and they know what is wrong. And they know good from bad. And the same person you are against, they see in a good and they see in that person being good. But yet so you insist in, in trying and put that person bad all, all, all the way. I mean, come on, we have to be real. We have to be real. You said, PM, let me tell you, no man is perfect. No man is perfect. And even if you're not supporting, whoever not supporting the PM. You check me? But at least when you do something good for them and it is good, say good, man. You know what I mean? Let, let, let us be real. You check? And let's be human, be him, for once. You check me? Thank and you. And do the right thing. That's all. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you yeah. very much, caller. Thank you very much. Have, have yourself a nice day. It's 9.19 in the morning time. Let us do a little bit of this and we'll be back. In just a minute. Daddy, daddy, you dirty your clothes again. And mommy not there to help you though. Well, le, 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 bam, bam. Daddy, dirty his clothes. Easy breezy, busy bubble. Laundry service on the hustle. Washing, drying, folding service. Washing comfort because it's worth it. Kitty's own, grips and toys. Come, Come on, daddy, daddy bring, bring the bag. Dirty things from wine and malt. Come on, man, it's not your fault. Busy Bubble. Visit our new location on the Castle Comfort Highway next to the Cicero Hotel. Busy Bubble Laundry, taking the busy out of your day. Catch the easy summer vibes with over $70,000 in cash and prizes. Just top up $15 or more, activate a prepaid plan, switch to flow, sign up, or bundle your home services to get your share of $70,000 in cash or data, Samsung Galaxy devices, shopping vouchers, and more. You can win when you top it up, switch it up, sign it up, bundle up. Easy wins with flow. Flow. Low terms and conditions apply. The local line, good morning. Good morning again, Jyoti. And uh, I'm calling quickly in response to the last caller. And he's making a wonderful point. After you, you and Brain mentioned the con man, the con artist who was on Facebook making that kind of statement. I went on, on his Facebook page and I saw the statement. And it would be amazing the number of, of the amount of support that he got. The amount of support he got. So for the last caller is right, that kind of statement should be condemned. But then but then I'm saying and I'm noting that that comment has a lot of support. And people are taking on those who, who care 
I'm, I'm to comment otherwise. They've taken them on, on his Facebook page. And it is surprising what a con man, how a con man can so captivate the mind of some, of, of some people. A man, a man who went to prison, not only in Dominica, but, but elsewhere, conning people. And even after leaving Dominica in prison, he was out there trying to con people. And, and in such that even the leader, his leader, you know, has to put him strict. Okay? But this is a man who seemed to want to con control, you know, the direction of the bad. But even his leader, you know, would condemn the statement he made. You know, so I, I, I and I moved based on the, on the last college response. A very good point. It should be condemned. But I'm saying that the, the con man has a lot of support for, for the statement he made about Calvin Leader. Thank you very much, caller. Thank you very much. It is 9.12 in the morning time, Friday, the 9th day of uh, mm -hmm. July 2021. The Heng and Brain. We are, we are, dealing, with, we are, we are dealing, dealing with two situations two simultaneously, two but they're tying, you know. Yeah. Because one of the things that people try to do is to prevent the courts from functioning. Mm -hmm. The courts are independent. They take the decisions. You, your man tell you from the beginning that there was no evidence. You never provided him with a lawyer. You never provided him with any support. Then the other one gets word of a lawyer for him a, d a, a day before the actual commencement of the case. Right? And you are providing evidence before the court when they ask you for disclosure with men who are in your camp. Men? including the famous Nicholas George, who told the nation that he voted for against his own self <laughs> after he listened to a go gospel concert. concert. That is the leader. To the local line, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes. Ibrahim and Jyoti. And if Darren is there, let me tell you, I will try and make some people understand that. If a big superintendent, former superintendent of police, say in a concert, making vote against his own self, huh? I will call him Nicholas Sot. Serious, serious, serious. Because let me tell you, I support the Liberal Party. What is taking me to vote against my party? Huh? And you want to tell me you're voting against your own self? And the other nonsense I hear, if the leader of the opposition, he's saying that he's speaking lawyer to find out, Mr. Linton, all you do as though is not all your case. Today you're talking about speaking legal thing about that case. <laughs> Come on again. That is real kunumunu again. That is stupidness. And Dominican do not have them clung. They're fooling all you. Nicola, sort. Stop being sort. Caller, good, good, big man. <laughs> good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Have a nice day. Caller. No, but, but Joe yes. Thomas, but yes. how you are having a case so long? Since 2015. Right? Mm -hmm. And you don't have the evidence. You don't have all what it takes. Your man telling us, moving John Baptist told us he's pulling out. When you're supposed to be giving him all the logistic support, you are giving him none until he has to tell you that he cannot continue. You did not present the evidence. And you know those guys are wicked, <laughs> malicious, and dangerous. Saying to the Dominican public that they have evidence. Ironclad, you know, ironclad. Ironclad evidence. Yes, we have it. Mean? You know, you have, um, how you call that, um, witnesses. Witnesses. When, for we the check out, when we check out your story, <laughs> you know what I mean? You having people who run the very election telling us that they voted against themselves. Y yes, themselves. You have a man coming, a man that's always talking foolishness, so how begging me. Morgan Heritage influence me? To if vote for United Workers. For, Let's for say United Workers Morgan Party. Heritage brought came down on the United, United Workers Wo Party platform. I went to the United Workers <laughs> Party's um, uh, uh, concert, concert because of Morgan Heritage. How can that influence <laughs> you to vote for them? To vote for the United Workers Party. How can that? <laughs> but, How will that but you, ever? Joe Thomas, you go uh, during your political life. You've been going to listen to different meetings. I used to go to you, listen to Eugenia Charles. I used to go to hear Edward Scobie. I went to hear great speakers on the other side. Yes, but that is what the political culture. We can go and listen to one another. To, to one another. <laughs> Let's go to the local line. Caller, good morning. 
Yes, Nicolas. And you expect the DPP to sit down there in her conscience, in her conscience mind, and put that before the court? Before the court? You expect the DPP to do that? And then for I was still defending that the man was against all you. Against his own self. Yes, sir. Mago is sir. So so dumb, Nikwe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, let's go to the overseas line. Caller, good morning. Caller, good morning. Good morning, how are you this morning? Good morning. Not good morning, morning. Good morning, Auntie. Good morning. Uh, um, how is Nevy this morning? Nevy on, right. on assignment. Okay, anyhow, you all are fine. I like that. Are you fine up on all six cylinders this morning? That's good. Mr. Tit, wherever you are, good morning. Joe, let me tell you that. Jesus Christ when he was on this earth. These people hate him, and they get, but yet they crucify him. Remember that. We have to take these people seriously with their threats. There's just, since the son disappoint these people and them there, the son disappoint them. After they're going to worship, worship the son and they lose the election, these people, they're desperate. I don't trust these people there, and we must be careful with these people there when you see they are talking. Nicholas judge said, what he's saying there? He need to, he need to take that back. And apologize. This is not things for him to say. Joe, food for for the day. In Proverbs chapter one said, uh-huh. "Fools this fools despise wisdom, wisdom and discipline." Food for food. You have a blessed day. Thank you very much. That's right. Thank that's good. Much. Very good. Nine fools. Di- fools despise wisdom. You hear that? Yes. Very short. Fools despise, despise wisdom. wisdom. Magwisa. Boy, I telling you, Joe Thomas, you lose, you lose. I cannot understand. That. Do your homework. You're playing your cricket game, you, you want lose to bat and bowl and feel at, at the, the same time. We stayed in the will. We stayed the Labour Party stayed in the wilderness for twenty years, and we resurrected again in two thousand. This is because of our plans and development. The plans program. and programs. Go yeah. Line. Call up. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Yes. Good, good morning. morning. How are you? Not too bad. Okay, talk to me. All you say, Nicholas George, he did the wrong, you know. You don't do the correct thing. If you don't understand the man. Mm-hmm. I, like, I don't want to call him man foolish. The man is a wise man, and, all his, and people don't understand. Jody, I've been saying it. The people of Collie Hope, the constancy of Collie Hope, has never put in you to be in your peace. They have never. I said it again. The several constituency had never voted WP from six UWP from Nessel. Four on the, on the north and three on the south. Point Michel, Plan B, and Pitt Sather. They have never voted UWP. Collie Hope, Postmouth, Cottage, and Bush. All the rest have put it in the WP. So Nicolai should really realize this, uh, boy, let me tell you something. I don't go to the for me. I vote in for Catherine because I'm not going to waste my vote. So the man win his vote. He, he didn't lose his vote. Mm. He vote correctly and he vote correctly. It's simple as that. <laughs> because he really has never voted. And when I hear him, from the chicken and the name that like he had called is from Iron Capuchin is Postmouth, Collie Ho, Tabush. That have to be a joke. Postmouth, Postmouth, Postmouth treating, Postmouth treating, Postmouth treating, Postmouth treating, Collie Ho treating, Postmouth has never voted anything else but the labor party you know Kola, thank you very much and you and you bring in you bring in you, you bring in uh, ian douglas mad you mad oh magic jean fou magic jean fou no man this is ridiculous joe thomas and you're there on your other radio station trying to intimidate the dpp 
you trying to indicate you don't you did not bring any evidence before the courts yes but you're there castigating the dpp that, what are you doing is, that is the thing you know they have no evidence of what is it but yet still they want people to take decisions in their favor in the courts is the evidence that tells a story nothing but the evidence it's the evidence that tells and if story. you don't have the evidence then the matter <coughs> is thrown out for lack of evidence Clarence Christian has joined us in the studio. Clarence, good morning good to morning, you. Clarence. Good morning, Clarence. Good morning. You let me take my break, man. Good morning. Good morning. No, no, no. As soon as you come here, you have to you be have ready to, to put you on your pads and back. <laughs> you, you, yeah. you know the wicked already. Man. Know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, but, but it's very good morning. interesting. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning to all the listeners. Uh, mm. Let me just take my break. Take your break. Bit, yeah, but Joe Thomas, can you imagine that the man moving John Baptist's hands up? Through his hands up. Through my fault, through my fault, through my gr most grievous fault, he put his mother under so much stress, the entire family, no evidence, he told you. I don't have the evidence. And they did not provide me with the legal representation. And you now coming yourself, uh, Mr. Senval from Layu, coming to bat on that kind of wicked with fellas they're on your team who are operatives you of your do side. you have the evidence. How can you tell me? You, when you have in your concerts, you have in your con, you had your concerts during the election. Yes. You had people performing and providing entertainment. entertainment. So why is it when the Labour Party provides entertainment for its people, you find something wrong with right. that? Right. You, 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 in, in 1995, you boasted how you brought people from overseas yes, to vote. Right. And that is how you won the election. Right. Labour Party turn around and bowl the very same googly at you and you're finding something wrong. But in 1995, you gave out your plywood, you gave out your galvanash, you gave out your conkles, you gave out your sweetie. You Everybody know, don't know that then. Is no secret? And so now you're crying. Who beat you? Who beat you? you crying. Clarence. Take your blows and come again. Clarence. Will and come, come again. again. Clarence, Clarence, good morning. Um, good, good, good morning. Um, good morning to the listeners. Good morning, Jyoti. Are you batting good? I just pass and see how things working on. Well, that's very good, very good for you to check on us. Very good for us to What do you think Jyoti. of the case? The matter? Well, the case got its, its well-deserved outcome. I, I do not see any DPP would allow such a case to go ahead. Because <clears throat> what is treating? Basically, treating is giving people food, put it in layman's terms, giving people food, drink, and entertainment. Somebody who would not have voted for you. From <laughs> they would not have voted for you. So you treat you give them food, drink, and entertainment. To cause them. And cause them, to corruptly cause them to switch and vote for you. But let's say, let's say for Nicholas George. You wait, think? wait a while. <clears throat> so if I will never vote for you, nor will you be. So, but they came and they entertained me. They give me food. They give me drink. They give me music. They give me everything. And because of that, the next day I am drunk. I am still drunk. I am still under the influence of what they give me. Yes. And instead of making the vote for the Labour Party, I say, boy, those guys I feed me yesterday, <laughs> I give them the cross. Yes. That is treating. Because I would not normally have voted for them. Yes. And because they entertain me, they give me drinks, and they give me the, I went ahead and I vote for them. I was listening to them yesterday. Look at the evidence they say they have. The advertisement of the concert. <laughs> the who was at the who, who performed at the concert. concert but nobody there is no dispute the concert was held that's not a dispute that's not never in dispute the evidence you have to produce is who was corruptly treated who are the persons or a few persons yes. who went to the concert and got influence. who would not have voted for <laughs> labor party Right? When they went into the concert, when they left their home and when they go, they, they know they would not have voted for the yes. Labour Party. They went to the concert 
And because of the concert, Donny McLaughlin, the spirit and the food catch them and the drink <laughs> and the thing catch them it catch <laughs> Nicholas George <laughs> it, catch <them>. <laughs> 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 it catch them so the next day they go and vote for Labour Party Labour Party <laughs> so you have to bring witnesses to say that happened that to happened them that happened to them yes so you know what you be brought eight witnesses eight witnesses eight, eight witnesses here the, name. the, names. the names of the witnesses <laughs> Nicholas George Nicholas George, George fell. Tyrone Tio Tyrone Tyrone Blessings fell. Tyrone Blessings. <laughs> Jawan Zastiot fell. Is the, um, Tyrone Zastiot is the technical person, the IT person IT for person, the yes. WP. For <laughs> thing. IT Facebook and IT person for yes. the WP. All the Facebook in WP, you see, I mean, eh? he. and he was one of those who was flying the drone over the Prime Minister's house. You hear that? Oh, yeah. Mr. Licks, that is a Mackenzie Mac Michel's son, he's a Michel from Portsmouth, yes. UWP again, yes. he's a, one of the best drones person and doing all the drone advertisement and things so forth for UWP. Then there was a Mona, um, a carbon lady from, from Marigot. Mona Charles? Charles, he's a Charles, yeah. Always or calling the radio calling the radio program. UWP. Blows and labor. And there was a Huron Vidal. It's Huron from Biosh. From Biosh. So all these, these are the six, <laughs> or if I miss one, or several persons who UWP, persons who are in the bowels of the United Workers Party. Of the Party. European, on the executive, <laughs> a candidate of the United Workers Party, George. Fell. <coughs> going to tell the court thing. They were so moved by the concert of the Uni of the Labour Party that they voted for the Labour Party. <laughs> the concert influenced Nicholas George, a, mili a, mi a military man. <laughs> so <laughs> Nicholas George and Huron Vidal voted for Lady Daniel, Catherine Lady Daniel, Daniel. in Collio. Can you imagine? So, oh. how can you... No, no. I, I went Dominican... It's not concert. It's something else that caused Nicholas George to... <laughs> I, 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 that is what they say. That is yeah. what they, they say. That is what they say. That is their that, witness but I tell you, it's that not concert. Statement. It's something else. <laughs> that is what they say. The concert so influenced them. Yeah. So, is that a matter of having the concert? The concert was... Held. Held. It, it was just like UWP had their concert in St. John. Eternal. World renowned artist. Yes. Richie Spice. Grammy Award well, artist in Kalinago Territory. And how come she never fell for that? Labour Party. <laughs> I went to the country. I no, drove you, on the rain. And you didn't vote for United I Oka. drove on the rain to, to go, go to, the the <laughs> to Kalinago Territory. To see Richie to Spice. To see Richie Spice. World renowned <laughs> Grammy, Grammy Award, Award winning and, artist. And next day you came back and, and I, you did not vote. And I, I could influence me. But I wanted to see Richie Spice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right? I, I had an opportunity to see Richie Spice. And for free. So I went. You cannot say that inf that did not no, influence no. me. So they had to get people to say, look, I went to the concert. I would not have voted for the Labour Party. But because of what happened at the concert, because of the food, the drinks, drinks and the entertainment, the button they give me, that changed me to vote for Labour Party. That is correct. So they could not get holy <laughs> call So they could not get anybody <laughs> to come and say that. And say that. So they had to get Nicholas <laughs> George, yeah. of all people, a yeah. candidate <laughs> of the United Workers Party. <laughs> a it candidate in an election. Clarence, don't kill yourself, no? Right? Go in there as a witness with Brighton witness statement. Basically saying, look guys, I did not vote for myself because the concert of Donny McLaughlin was so influencing. I got so high, so charged. I was so charged because I eat so much food, I had so much drink, drink at that concert that I changed my mind and I voted oh, for the Labour Party instead of voting for, for myself. myself. Well, let's, let's take so that So the DPP has to look at that. Yes. And say. And say, I can go anywhere with this. <laughs> That case can go anywhere. That is not frivolous. Those guys should be charged for mischief making. For mischief making. Those guys should be charged for mischief making. So it's not a matter of bringing 
you have the whole hour of how many hours of the concert or you have the um advertisement of the concert you have what prime minister scary here yeah, that not what hap- that not what is treating the treating is i have to convince somebody who would not have voted, voted corruptly and who you have would s- not have voted for me and to swing my swing my, <coughs> swing yes. my vote because I treat I, 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 I give them drink, yes, I give them food and I give them entertainment. So I'm um, I'm I'm saying Nicholas George, a candidate, Mr. people must that must sink in Mr. 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 That Mr. must Mr. sink in in Dominica. Nicholas Mate for a be in Biosh. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Wapi in Bios, my friend fisherman. Good morning, Wapi, my brother. Um, <laughs> my friend, in, all my friends in call you. Um, what's the name in the, in the shop of the, in, uh, in on the road? Right. Good morning. Gasso. This is what Nicholas George, so much, we, as a witness, and oh, good <coughs> uncle Nicholas. You think Gasso? blessing can be? You can treat influence blessing. In, Labour Party can influence, influence blessing. blessing. Gentlemen, blessing. the lines are light, Go ahead. Lines, Go ahead. lines are lighting up Marty. profusely here. Let's go. How on the local line. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Jyoti. Yes, good morning. How are you? Hey, comrade Brain, sir. Comrade Brain, sir. Comrade Brain, sir. Comrade Brain, sir. Okay, man. Let me hear Mr. Wallace and Andrew in Capuchin. I know yes. you're listening. Boy, these people, UWP, they can understand anything. When they cannot understand the difference between a budget mm. and a supplementary estimate, mm. they don't understand anything. Do you know those fellows are admitting that they accepted a bribe and they can be <laughs> criminally charged? <laughs> are they aware of that? Well, well, they, that, is, that is what they're saying. That is what they're saying. Yeah, they are saying, hey, I, I, you know, accepted a bribe, I accepted a bribe. So both the offer of the bribe and the accept of the bribe can be criminally charged. Of course. So those fellows understand things. They under, I, I, I don't know why the people are supporting you. Know, yeah, I don't know what school they went to. It can be the same school we went to. Impossible. Because they have no brain. They don't go into things. They don't understand things. They don't dissect things to get the gist of it. These guys are making themselves criminals. That's what they're saying to the public. We are criminals. We accept bribes. Because what they're saying is they did an act that could drastically have altered the outcome of an election. Mm-hmm. That's what they're saying. That we were the cause of that. And I don't know about it. I don't know. So these fellows, and I agree with Mr. Um, um, I agree that those fellows should be charged for making the court waste its time. And all those kind of frivolous things they are doing there, they should be, they should really be charged by it because they are not paying why they are doing that over and over and over. Yeah, Something right. should be done about that. Yeah, that's Thank right. you, gentlemen. Have a good all day. Right. So, good. so, Jyoti. Oh, just a minute. To the overseas line, good morning. Hello, good morning. Could you speak up for me, please? Let me tell you something. You see this kind of occurrence that is coming up from the mouth of this guy? Ah. It's nothing, it's nothing new. You know, I, when I listen, yeah, but we mustn't take them lightly. No, we mustn't take them lightly either. Because when things happen like that, I don't always write down certain things. Mm. On, on the 16th of December 2018, okay? On the program that I've had, usually have on, on Sundays, there was Sunday. Okay, it came from the mouth of a certain mm-hmm. gentleman, a for the guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, who said we're not going to take it lightly. We have to do something which is very scary. We have to go in the new. We will still be scary. Mm-hmm. Okay. He also said that that was when they had this um, 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 the demonstration. A gentleman gave us his platform on Jewel Street to, 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 to have our platform. Okay. The other one in Miami, Robinson, he said he has evidence that was done before the election. And we felt scared of distributing money to people, a criminal. We are still to charge him. Okay? And then they were going to do so many other things. So those kind of made long ago, and they should not be taken lightly at all, at all, at all. Okay, cool. 
Yes, but okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, caller. To the local line, caller. You can, you can, you can, to, to the local line. Call up, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Um, Clarence. Yes, speak up morning. A, que a, a question to you, Mr. Clarence. You don't think themselves that they, they bribe them, they should arrest them and put them in jail? <laughs> but this is exactly what I'm saying. Because that is against the law. That, that, yeah. is, that, is, that, that is perjury. They have perjured themselves, Nicholas George, as a police officer, <laughs> for going there as a witness. Putin have a witness statement and his witness statement was signed. Nicholas George witness statement uh -huh. was signed uh -huh. on the 12th of May 2021. What? 12th of May? 12th of May 2021. The case was 2015. The case was in 2015. And his statement was signed when? His statement was dated and signed on the 12th of May 2021. So what happened? Uh, uh, After uh, Mervyn back down, yeah. or, or, or basically, well, or putting, so, those guys were scrambling for to get pieces for witness. Hello. So they, hello. So, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, go on, Nico, uh, go So on. they could not have gotten anybody to come and say witness. Yes, I was bribed. I was at the, at the concert. I um, was given food and drink and, and I would I am a supporter of the United Workers Party and because they gave me food and the drink and the entertainment I switched and I voted for for the Labour Party. For the Labour Party. They could not get any person to come an ordinary person. So people like Nicholas George and Huron Vidal and Joan Justiot and that Michel Guy in and blessings and blessings these are the guys who came forward we, we, to tell the court to, as a witness statement, witness that they were at the rallies and they were they, 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 they were treated, they were given food. food and they were given entertainment and they were given drinks and because of that Clarence. they switched and they voted for, for the uh, Labour Party. Party. Now in my view, I don't think they voted for the Labour Party. They did in your view. <laughs> No, they come didn't. on, man, Clark. Come on, they did not Clark. vote for. I'm telling you, they did not vote for the Labour Party. They did not vote for the Labour Party. But this is what they are saying that because the Labour Party treated them, they were there. The Labour Party treated them. They voted for the Labour Party against their will. But let me tell you that. But you made a very significant observation there. The man signed a statement on the, in mid 2021. You know. That is perjury, you know. Call are you the, there? The, that the yes, man has I perjured guess. himself because the case started since 2015. Yeah. So now on the 20th of May, 2021, you signing a statement. You don't know where we are now. Today is July, Friday, July the 9th, yeah. you know. What is going on in the courts now? Is the court a mockery? Caller, come in. Yes, yes. Um, well, if, I, if, if bless is really good for the Liberal Party, I believe all the flying fish that in this city will go up river. <laughs> all right, caller. Thank you, you, you very really much. So? You don't yes. you really so? Yeah. <coughs> Thank you very much for your observation. No, they did not vote for Labour Party. Oh no, certainly not. But in their wit when they when they go <laughs> as a witness there, what they were telling the court and telling the court that because they are witnesses, Marty. They saying that they were influenced, to corruptly vote. influenced, to vote for to the, vote the, for the Taiwan, Labour Party. Taiwan is that is what they were saying. Market. They were corruptly influenced because they would not have voted for Labour Party. Mister Marty Gasson. There was no way they would have voted because of the concert. They would have. They were corruptly influenced to vote for the Labour Party, and they did in fact. Voted for the Labour Party. Tyron, that is what they were saying. Tyron, boots on the but ground. who would know? Anyhow. <laughs> Who Sorry. would know? Who for, and you expect Tyron to go into a, a, a polling station, Sean and a polling booth, and vote, vote for the Labour for the party. Dominica Labour Party? party Tyron. Who Tyron can fool with that? Tyron and who, you going there, he, Mr. Pudge himself, boy, can fool with that. Let's go to the local line. Call her. Good morning. Yes, good morning. I come to realize that UWP Party was established on lies. Yes. And it has been lies and lies after. It's a lot of deception that has been going on. Yes. One more thing I want to find out is, last election, the opposition party offered people 
if they voted for them, they would have given 000. each household twenty-five thousand dollars. What is that? Is that supposed to be bribery? That is bribery. Yes, can bribery. No, we have them. Twenty-five thousand for can each household. If we should win the election, vote for us, and you have twenty-five thousand. All right, caller. Thank you very much. Let's okay. go to the overseas on the overseas line. Good morning. Good morning, Johnny. Yeah, what's happening? Tell, tell this, yeah, tell this idiots don't underestimate the results of Liberal Party, right? Yes. If they want war, we are ready. Anyway, my <coughs> brother, we can be ready. Bye. And and on on on, the, on on this matter, you know, those fighters can say what they want. I know. I was a young man then when when uh, at the overthrow of Patrick Patrick John. I was a strong supporter of the Labour Party. I never switched. And I saw the neglect of the lab people by then, Labour Party, the, the person who supported him. <coughs> because there was a clique of people around him. And I can remember as a young man, people like my, um, a, a Michael Diaz and um, the Quaram. And, and, and they formed a clique. Bogoroy. And Bogoroy. And Mr. And, Diaz. And Mr. D those guys, they formed a clique. So people like young people. I can remember Labour Party would have had a young a Labour youth organization before Freedom Party. When people, I wouldn't call his name on your but but a very prominent real estate person from Point Michel. Can remember we went to Patrick. And say we need to create a youth arm of the Labour Party. And I can remember people like Michael Diaz and those people say, Pala! So when 1979 came, came Freedom Party and their youth building, I think so, they had so undermined the base of the Labour Party that when they ro rose, the Labour Party could not, the support wasn't there. Mm -hmm. The support started to happen. That's not happening again. You see how quick we could rally. People on the 8th of June? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh yes, oh yes. You see how quick overnight Simeon and I went on radio. And before you know it, by next day, thousands and thousands oh, and they, of people were in Rosemont. Because they were gathering, you know. They were right. there. Lennox was under the ma ma they mango were, tree. They were, they were hoping they would come in the stadium. Nicholas, and from Nicholas George was there, you know. And create mayhem. That is... Yes, the police have to take security. But that's not going to happen mm, again. It's not happening again. Let's go to the call. overseas line. Caller, good morning. <laughs> What's up, guys? How are you doing this morning? Not Spring, too bad at all. Everybody. What happened to you a while yeah, ago? You, boy, you guys are hot, bro. I can't get through. I can't get through. <laughs> Not like the old times. Let's go. But um, I have a different spin to that, you know, Clarence. I think I have to agree with Nicola, Nicholas and Mr. Linton. And I'll tell you why. I came down um, to vote. You know, I'm a king labor, right? A couple, couple elections ago. And... I passed through St. Joseph, and when I saw Tazzy whining on his stage, he, he was about to convince me. He's whining. I was about <laughs> to convince me to vote for the other side. But on a serious note, if I'm a, if I'm a UWP supporter, guys, uh, um, Lennox talked about last night. Well, he was advertising it on a billboard. They had commercials on the show. I'm saying that cannot convince people. You know what's going to convince UWP supporters to, to vote for Labour. Do you guys know? When they see good roads, when they see bridges, when they see how the Yes We Care program goes, that's what that's going to convince them. Not some kind of billboard or concert or standing on um, what they're talking about. So these guys don't have no money to bring down people like us. I hope Mr. the Indian man gives them a little something. They will pay um, dice more money to, um, to perform for them. I'm listening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aside, oh, sorry. Eh? I um, last night I was looking at some videos, guy, of, of what happened in um, Haiti. In Haiti, mm -hmm. but now if you see guns and ammunition about those guys, and all of them had uh, all what they do, they are arrested. 
who had Colombian passports, and you saw videos where the people themselves, the citizenry, the, the fellas who were hiding in bush and everything, and how they had those guys tied up. Oh, they tied them up. Obviously, they must have beat, beat them and, and fellas dragging them, those guys, and handing them over. Was what you, what you call the entire, like the country. No, is not happy with it. The country, the people, the, 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 the ordinary people of the country assisted the police. In apprehending. In apprehending those culprits, you yeah, know, of and tied them. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Where they had them tied them, tied oh, bring them to the police. Two of them and, and tied them up. And, and and and, people and, are not and, happy about this. And, when, and they had a, 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 a press conference, and they had those guys about. It was about 10 or between 14 of them. Mm -hmm. I think seven got killed by the police. Okay. And 14 of them, and they put them to sit down on the floor and I parade saw, them on I, the... I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> but, but let, let's go to the... Yeah, yeah. Guns and... Yeah. Nobody, high nobody, equipment. High, high power high things. Women. Yeah. With yeah. some big sledgehammer to break wall and, I know, I know, and break sir. door. <laughs> I Boy, know, this, was is, something else. this was really a command. But what the people are saying is... These are the guys who carry the act. But there might be some... Stinking. But there are persons who... who, who in, 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 in it, and, and, and there had to be some rich people in it. You could fund those guys to come over... And do that. And, do that. and there are two Americans. Haitian Americans. Two Americans, persons with American um, passports. Passport, but they say they're Haitians. Who are involved in that, in, in, in that act. Let's go yeah, to the local line. Good, good morning. morning. Yes. Yeah, good morning. Um, the thing about it, the citizenry uh, they arrested these people, but the U.S. has a report out saying only 6% supported that uh, president. I really can't understand the propaganda the U.S. is putting out. Yes. Uh. And, now there, and now there's a rumor that American troops are heading to Haiti. So oh. what the hell is going on? <laughs> okay, well, we we need to follow the news. Yeah. Thank you, caller. Okay, caller. Yes, Joe Thomas, but it's an amazing situation when you think about how fellas won the court when when it's in their favor, and they do not want the court when it's not in their favor. But no, but no, but we, uh, this, we we have to go back to that, and those guys are crying and, and things. So and, and I and I I cannot understand that a political party, a very young lawyer, um, thing, took a bold stand. Took a bold stand and do what is right. And I hear a caller yesterday telling Matt because um, the boyfriend of the young of, of the young the lawyer, attorney, yes. young attorney, got assistance when he got injured and things so from the government. That is why. The, I mean, and Matt accept that. M Matt is a a whore man, a, a, a media whore. Uh, and the boyfriend is from Point Michel, you know? Yeah, you know the boy. I know the boy, the cricketer. Matt is a media From Point Michel, you know, you're yeah. saying because, yeah. because yeah. the government has been asked. When the government gave... Um, Gabriel, I'm, I'm, I'm Sam Christian. The government paid... For Sam Christian. For Sam Christian, a medical doctor. 840,000 euros. Ooh. Multiply that by three. By multiply that by three. You hear that? For, for his care in... in, in, for, in, 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 in I'll do the math. $420,000. Right. Almost half a million for your brother to be alive. For, for him... Where your brother so they, yeah, like, like, and then you, you you have somebody calling because a, a, a cricket a national cricketer, cricketer yeah, the government Teof, take uh, yeah, up Teofil. his cost yeah to yeah. the overseas line good morning have to, to be the media hall yes the media you, you hall you have to be uh, linking Call that up. this guy this guy is a mercenary a mercenary good morning yes. Call Call up. Up. Here. good morning yes good morning good morning Jody good morning Brian good, good morning good morning my friend good morning good morning you, you guys are in a high octane this morning, very high octane. I'm out there and I see the heat from coming from the station. Yeah, That's all very right. good. Listen, listen, listen to me, man. I, I don't, I don't, sit to, I don't say anything past these guys. I, you know, um, you guys said that they, they did not put for the Labour Party. I, I honestly believe they did. I honestly believe in some cases maybe they did because these guys are instructions. They can do anything to to create a situation. Maybe they did, maybe they did not. Who knows? It's the same guy that was fighting against their leadership. They don't want enough Washington today, but they want him tomorrow. They don't want this one today, they want him tomorrow. These guys are, are evil in their, in, in their ways. That, that, that's what I would say. They, they, are, they are people who have no kind of, of scrupule, no moral um, compass. It was the same guys that was trying to, don't forget, the Algeria the, the report, 
they were trying to bring money here from humanitarian humanitarian means, telling the telling the, we'll tell the bank they was willing to go as far as telling the bank the money the eight hundred thousand dollars that they have raised in Panama, it was for humanitarians in Dominica. So we have seen over and over again to see how these guys are just they would do anything for money. They would do anything that they want to do. And when we look at the, the, the election, the, the petition that they, 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 they submitted and they, they, against the government of, 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 of this country, against the Labour Party, and we see who are involved in it, that is, that is, that is the characteristic of these people. They have, no, they have no, no kind of heart. They have nothing for nobody. They are going all out to do whatever. If it means selling their family and selling themselves, the government have to move into that this. He had to run out balling because they set him up and leave him for dead. That is one of theirs. That is one of theirs. That's one of their frontline soldiers. Let him to die. So these guys, as far as election is concerned and the petition that they have sent, and saying, and, uh, give them six years to prepare. And up till now, they, can, they are not prepared. They don't have a case. They don't have evidence. And they're talking about, the are not talking about putting advertising. That is a way of treating and bribing. I mean, I'm, I'm, are you kidding me? Are we, are we, are we, are we, are we, are we in another, in an alternate universe? So when, so when the UW people put up their advertising, they, they, they go on the radio and they say they have a meeting um, in St. Joseph, is that treated on Friday? I mean, how you get to this point is the question. But as you said earlier, Jyoti and Brain, we cannot relent because these guys, are, 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 they have no scrupule. They have no, um, what you call, moral. All they are about is themselves. And they will do anything. A guy is drawing on a, on a, on a slip, Nicholas George. Firstly, that he said, in, as Clarence right, um, said, the end of the uh, May, I think the May 21st um, um, statement he gave, he said he was treated by. So that means he voted against himself. If you can go as far as implicating yourself and almost to the, to the point where you could go to get locked, and you wish to go out on public radio and read the statement, you can do anything in this country. You can do anything. And we've got to keep our eyes on these guys mm-hmm. because they have no kind of scrupule and nothing nothing of, of, of essence and importance, nothing of interest for the people and the common of this country. Gentlemen, I'll continue that tomorrow night. I know time is... <coughs> I also will take more of that tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your call. So, so- But they think what they could do, they lost the election, the campaign, and they lost the, the election freely and squarely. They lost the election. So they think they can take it to the court so that the court will give them win. Yes. So what they could not do in the ballot box, they were hoping that the court would, would have turn. done it. For them. Now, you have had a party where you have had, from since 2005, 20 election petitions you have lost every one of them through lack of evidence every single election petition okay you have lost including including the citizenship where you had no evidence right that uh, that, that either peter Sajan or roosevelt scary frenchman had uh, they were they were no the court, there was nothing. They were citizens of France. Okay? Now, there is no thing about it. Because as a child, they would obtain citizens of France from their parents. What the case was about was whether as an adult, they had applied for, obtained, and traveled on a French, French passport. passport. This is what the case was, was about. about. Yes, right. Whether as an adult, they had applied, you had no evidence. But you were taking the Prime Minister and Peter Singer to court, even Ron Green, while Ron Green himself is an American citizen. Never had a Dominican passport. And he was a pal rep, and he never had a Dominican American passport. passport he was traveling on his American, American passport. passport. As an adult, renewed <laughs> his passport. passport yes. All the evidence is there. Earl Williams is a British citizen, he was born in England. He was a minister of government. He was pal rep. He had his British passport. The Labour Party never took him to court. But you taking people to court for, for this <laughs> when you yourself in it in it 
The same thing with the treating. You brought in Eterna in St. Joseph. Big fat, large crowd. I mean, when I saw that crowd, I said, we bought the labor party finish. Yes, I was there. Large crowd. I was there. Large, large, large crowd. And Eterna belting all her... Uh, all her latest. All her latest song, All her uh, Grammy award And boy, people song, dancing. And people fet. dancing and fetting and things. So, la massive crowd. The whole of St. Joseph came looking for, at Eterna. <laughs> all of all well, the Dominicans came looking at Eterna. You did, that wasn't enough. The very same campaign you went to um, Richie Spice in Kalinago Territory. Same thing. And then because you bring Johnny McClock in, you don't say, look, but I did it already. <laughs> well, leave it alone. Leave, leave this alone. And then you have your people, your key executive members and candidates come in and say they were treated, basically giving evidence that they would not have voted for Labour Party. They voted for Labour Party and because of that. Because <laughs> and Nicholas George, oh, who I had a lot of respect for, is involved in that. Yes, oh, man. those guys are mercy. Well, well, Joe Thomas, it's, it was hot in there. I don't know what's happening. Uh, Joe, you. Uh, well, <laughs> it is 9.57 in the morning time. We get into the end of the hang for today, Friday, the 9th day of July 2021. Of course, the next level comes your way tomorrow evening. You can follow the events, and I'm sure Simeon will be here, God willing, to um, continue to discuss on what we've been doing. Dominica, 9.58 is the morning time. Let us touch base with the people who pay our bills before we get out of here. Catch the easy summer vibes with over $70,000 in cash and prizes. Just top up $15 or more. Activate a prepaid plan, switch to flow, sign up, or bundle your home services to get your share of $70,000 in cash or data, Samsung Galaxy devices, shopping vouchers, and more. You can win when you top it up, switch it up, sign it up, bundle up. Easy wins with flow. Easy wins with flow. Easy wins with flow. Low terms and conditions apply. Daddy, daddy, you don't tear close again. And mommy not there to help you though. Well, le, 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 bam, bam. Daddy, that is close. Easy breezy, busy bubble laundry service on the hustle. Washing, drying, folding service. Washing comfort, cause it's worth it. Kitty zone, grips and toys. Come, Come on, daddy, daddy bring, bring the bag. Dirty things from wine and malt. Come on, man, it's not your fault. Busy bubble. Visit our new location on the Castle Comfort Highway next to the Cicero Hotel. Busy bubble laundry, taking the busy out of your day. that time of the morning when I've got to hit and quit, when I've got to pack my wax and make some tracks. Time I lace, get out of this place. <laughs> Dominique, it was good, clean, fun being on your radio this morning. I hope you enjoyed, I enjoyed every minute and every bit of it. Let's hope you did. The invitation is yours to join us on Monday for another hang program. Until then, don't you forget the next level comes up tomorrow. Tomorrow evening with Simeon Albert, of course. Certainly would not want to miss that. 10 o'clock in Dominica. I go.